Today we're going to talk about gravity cloaking technology. What is gravity cloaking technology? It is the ability to block the personal gravity particles that's going to each one of your atoms. And if you're able to do that, you will have zero inertia and you will be able to go any speed you want. That's what this is. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, what causes inertia? It's the personal gravity that's going to you. And you're going to block that. This is not anti-gravity. Anti-gravity was to block a force. And I don't believe gravity is a force, so I don't believe in that. So now, there's going to be a couple of ways in this theory to do that. One of them is with sound, and the other one is with magnets. So I'm just laying down the basic theory, and I'm going to show you that over here now at the molecular level. All right, if you saw my previous video, you would have seen this uh, helium atom, gravity particles, holding them in place. That's what causes inertia. It's going to come in from all angles. In reality, you're held in place. Now, in the gravity cloaking technology, if you have a sound particle, this is theoretical, if you have a particle that is the right shape, the right frequency, and you're able to produce that from inside the device that you're going to do, use gravity cloaking, if this sound particle goes in and hits the gravity particle at the right angle to disrupt it from all sides, you will now have no inertia. There is nothing then that will be holding the atom in place. There will be nothing that helps it move as it moves through the universe. That will stop. There will be zero inertia. Now, with a magnet, another particle that's going to be circling, if you can hit the gravity that's coming to it, with that, like I said, this is theoretical, and you disrupt them, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's sound or magnets, that's just my first part of my theory, if you disrupt it, inertia goes to zero. When inertia goes to zero, you can go any speed you want. Now, if you have the technology, and it's in your car, all right, you back your car out of the garage, you go out into the driveway, and you click on the button that turns on your gravity cloak. Boom! Your car now has no inertia. Now, you'll have to have some kind of drive, maybe a light drive, maybe a sound drive, but something that will cause you to move. And as soon as you do that, you can accelerate to speeds that are many times the speed of light. So with this technology, you may be able to go out, turn your gravity cloak on, point your car to the moon, and boom, be there in a couple of seconds. Now, if you mess up and you don't slow down before you get there, you have zero inertia. So you could go, bang, hit the moon, what's going to happen? No inertia. There's no train wrecks of gravity particles behind you that's going to cause you to stop. You're just going to bounce off. It's going to be a very safe way to travel, and we will be able to go anywhere we want. That's gravity cloaking technology. You've seen it at the molecular level, theoretical level here, You've seen the geometry of it, and it is now theoretically possible to travel many times the speed of light. Why is this so easy? It's because physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.